How to Take Care and Nurture Your Pet When You Travel As a pet owner, going on vacation can be a stressful experience when it comes to caring for your furry friend. Whether you are planning a short trip or an extended vacation, it is important to make sure that your pet is well taken care of while you are away. In this article, we will provide you with tips on how to care for and nurture your pet while you are on vacation. Hire a pet sitter. One of the best options for caring for your pet while you are away is by hiring a pet sitter. A pet sitter can provide your pet with personalized care and attention, including feeding, walking, and playing with your pet. They can also provide companionship and help alleviate any separation anxiety your pet may experience. Consider a pet boarding facility. Another option for caring for your pet while on vacation is to consider a pet boarding facility. Boarding facilities provide your pet with a safe and comfortable environment, as well as access to supervised exercise and socialization with other pets. Choose a reputable boarding facility that provides ample space and a clean and healthy environment for your pet. Ask a trusted friend or family member. Consider asking a trusted friend or family member to care for your pet while you are away. Make sure that they are familiar with your pet's routine and needs, and that they have the time and resources to provide adequate care. Provide clear instructions and information. Whether you choose a pet sitter, boarding facility, or a friend or family member, it is important to provide clear instructions and information about your pet's routine, diet, medications, and any other special needs. Make sure that they have access to your pet's veterinarian contact information and any emergency contacts. Prepare your pet for your absence. Prepare your pet for your absence by gradually getting them used to spending time away from you. Practice leaving your pet alone for short periods of time and gradually increase the duration. This can help alleviate separation anxiety and make the transition easier for your pet. Leave plenty of food and water. Make sure to leave plenty of food and water for your pet while you are away. Consider using automatic feeders and water dispensers to ensure that your pet has access to fresh food and water throughout the day. Leave familiar toys and bedding. Leave familiar toys and bedding for your pet to help them feel comfortable and secure while you are away. Familiar scents and items can provide a sense of comfort and familiarity for your pet. Consider installing a pet camera. Consider installing a pet camera to keep an eye on your pet while you are away. Pet cameras can provide you with real-time updates on your pet's behavior and activity and can help alleviate any concerns or worries you may have. Provide plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. Provide plenty of exercise and mental stimulation for your pet before you leave and while you are away. This can help reduce stress and anxiety and provide your pet with a sense of routine and structure. Return home with plenty of love and attention. When you return home from your vacation, make sure to provide your pet with plenty of love and attention. Spend quality time with them and provide plenty of affection and reassurance to help them readjust to your presence. Consider a pet-friendly vacation. Consider a pet-friendly vacation where you can bring your pet along with you. Many hotels, resorts, and vacation rentals now offer pet-friendly accommodations, allowing you to enjoy your vacation with your furry friend by your side. Research pet-friendly activities. Research pet-friendly activities and attractions in the area where you will be vacationing. This can include hiking trails, parks, and beaches that allow pets. Make sure to check the rules and regulations of each location to ensure that your pet is allowed and that you have the necessary supplies, such as a leash and waste bags. Bring familiar items from home. Bring familiar items from home such as your pet's bed, toys, and blankets, to help them feel more comfortable in a new environment. Familiar scents and items can provide a sense of security and comfort for your pet. 
Pack enough food and treats. Make sure to pack enough food and treats for your pet while you are on vacation. It can be challenging to find the same brand or type of food that your pet is used to, so bring enough to last for the duration of your trip. Keep your pet safe. Keep your pet safe while on vacation by ensuring that they are properly secured in a crate or carrier while traveling. Make sure to bring a copy of your pet's medical records and identification tags, and consider getting your pet microchipped in case they become lost. Take breaks during travel. Take breaks during travel to allow your pet to stretch their legs and use the restroom. This can also help reduce stress and anxiety for your pet during long car rides or flights. Provide plenty of water. Provide plenty of water for your pet while on vacation, especially during outdoor activities and in warm weather. Make sure to bring a portable water bowl and refill it regularly to ensure that your pet stays hydrated. Plan for veterinary care. Plan for veterinary care in case of an emergency while on vacation. Research veterinary clinics in the area and make note of their contact information and hours of operation. Consider getting travel insurance that covers veterinary care for your pet. Follow local regulations. Follow local regulations and laws regarding pets while on vacation. This can include leash laws, vaccination requirements, and restrictions on certain dog breeds. Enjoy your vacation with your pet. Finally, enjoy your vacation with your pet. Spending time with your furry friend can be a fun and rewarding experience and can create lasting memories that you both will cherish. Consider pet-specific travel gear. Consider investing in pet-specific travel gear, such as a travel carrier, collapsible food and water bowls, and a portable litter box, for cats. These items can make traveling with your pet more comfortable and convenient. Create a travel itinerary with your pet in mind. Create a travel itinerary with your pet in mind, including stops for bathroom breaks, meals, and exercise. This can help reduce stress and anxiety for your pet and ensure that they are comfortable during the trip. Check for pet-friendly accommodations in advance. Check for pet-friendly accommodations in advance and book early to ensure availability. Some hotels and vacation rentals may have limited pet-friendly rooms, so it is important to plan ahead. Research the weather and climate. Research the weather and climate of your destination and pack accordingly for your pet. This can include protective clothing for cold weather and sunscreen and cooling vests for hot weather. Keep your pet's routine consistent. Keep your pet's routine as consistent as possible while on vacation, including feeding and exercise schedules. This can help reduce stress and anxiety for your pet and maintain their overall well-being. Be aware of your pet's behavior. Be aware of your pet's behavior while on vacation and watch for signs of stress or discomfort. How to care and nurture ornamental koi fish Koi fish are a popular and beautiful addition to any outdoor pond or water garden. These colorful fish require proper care and attention to thrive in their aquatic environment. In this article, we will provide you with tips on how to care for and nurture your koi fish. Provide a suitable habitat. Koi fish require a suitable habitat in order to thrive. This includes a pond or water garden that is at least 1,000 gallons in size, with a depth of at least 3 feet. The pond should also have a filtration system to maintain water quality and clarity. Maintain proper water quality. Maintaining proper water quality is essential for the health and well-being of your koi fish. This includes monitoring water pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels, 
and performing regular water changes to maintain proper levels. Feed a balanced diet. Feeding a balanced diet is important for the growth and health of your koi fish. Koi fish require a high protein diet, with a mix of pellets, vegetables, and fruits. Avoid overfeeding your fish, as excess food can lead to poor water quality and health problems. Provide adequate aeration and circulation. Adequate aeration and circulation are essential for the health of your koi fish. This includes installing a water pump and aerator to maintain oxygen levels and prevent stagnant water. Protect from predators. Protecting your koi fish from predators, such as birds and raccoons, is important for their safety and well-being. Install a net or fence around your pond to keep predators out, and provide hiding places for your fish, such as rocks or plants. Monitor for signs of illness. Monitoring your koi fish for signs of illness is important for early detection and treatment. Watch for symptoms such as loss of appetite, lethargy, and abnormal swimming behavior and seek veterinary care if necessary. Maintain a consistent temperature. Maintaining a consistent water temperature is important for the health of your koi fish. Koi fish require a water temperature between 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the season and climate. Provide shade and shelter. Providing shade and shelter for your koi fish can help protect them from the sun and provide a sense of security. Install plants or a floating cover to provide shade, and provide hiding places for your fish, such as rocks or caves. Avoid introducing new fish too quickly. Introducing new fish too quickly can disrupt the established ecosystem of your pond and cause stress for your koi fish. Introduce new fish slowly over several weeks and monitor their behavior and health during the transition. Enjoy your koi fish. Finally, enjoy your koi fish. These beautiful fish can provide a sense of tranquility and relaxation in your outdoor space. Spend time observing their behavior and patterns, and enjoy the serene beauty of your water garden. Keep the pond clean. Keeping the pond clean is crucial for the health of your koi fish. This includes removing debris and excess algae from the pond, and performing regular maintenance on the filtration system to ensure it is functioning properly. Test the water regularly. Testing the water regularly is important for maintaining proper water quality in your pond. Use a water testing kit to monitor pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels on a regular basis, and adjust as necessary. Provide enough space for each fish. Providing enough space for each fish is important for their health and well-being. Koi fish require a minimum of 250 gallons of water per fish, so make sure that your pond is large enough to accommodate the number of fish you have. Quarantine new fish. Quarantining new fish before introducing them to your pond is important for preventing the spread of disease. Keep new fish in a separate quarantine tank for at least two weeks and monitor their behavior and health before introducing them to your pond. Monitor for parasites and diseases. Monitoring your koi fish for parasites and diseases is essential for early detection and treatment. Look for signs of illness such as skin lesions, abnormal behavior, or changes in appetite, and seek veterinary care if necessary. Provide adequate lighting. Providing adequate lighting is important for the health and growth of your koi fish. Koi fish require at least 12 hours of light per day to thrive, so make sure that your pond receives enough natural sunlight or install artificial lighting if necessary. 
Keep the pond temperature consistent. Keeping the pond temperature consistent is important for the health of your koi fish. Avoid sudden temperature changes and monitor the water temperature regularly to ensure that it stays within the appropriate range. Avoid overcrowding. Overcrowding your pond can lead to poor water quality and health problems for your koi fish. Make sure that your pond has enough space for each fish and avoid adding too many fish at once. Trim plants regularly. Trimming plants regularly can help maintain a healthy ecosystem in your pond. Remove excess plant material and dead leaves to prevent them from decomposing in the water and causing poor water quality. Provide regular maintenance. Providing regular maintenance is important for the overall health and well-being of your koi fish. This includes monitoring water quality, performing regular water changes, cleaning the pond, and maintaining the filtration system. Provide a varied diet. Providing a varied diet is important for the health and nutrition of your koi fish. Offer a mix of pellets, vegetables, and fruits to ensure that your fish receive all of the necessary nutrients. Monitor water levels. Monitoring water levels is important for maintaining proper water quality in your pond. Keep the water level consistent and make sure that the pond does not become too shallow or too deep for your fish. Install a UV sterilizer. Installing a UV sterilizer can help control harmful bacteria and parasites in your pond. This can help prevent the spread of disease and ensure the overall health of your koi fish. Provide adequate oxygenation. Providing adequate oxygenation is essential for the health and well-being of your koi fish. Consider installing a waterfall or fountain to add oxygen to the water or provide an air pump to maintain proper oxygen levels. Avoid overstocking. Overstocking your pond can lead to poor water quality and health problems for your koi fish. Make sure that your pond has enough space for each fish and avoid adding too many fish at once. Provide shelter from the sun. Providing shelter from the sun is important for the health of your koi fish. Install plants or a floating cover to provide shade and avoid exposing your fish to direct sunlight for long periods of time. Keep the pond free of predators. Keeping the pond free of predators is important for the safety and well-being of your koi fish. How to take your cat to the vet If you are a cat owner, it is important to take your furry friend to the veterinarian for regular checkups and medical care. However, taking your cat to the veterinarian can be a stressful experience for both you and your feline companion. In this article, we will provide you with tips on how to take your cat to the veterinarian and make the experience as stress-free as possible. Get your cat used to the carrier. Getting your cat used to the carrier is important for a successful trip to the veterinarian. Leave the carrier out in a comfortable and familiar location for your cat to explore, and provide treats and positive reinforcement to encourage your cat to enter the carrier. Choose a comfortable carrier. Choosing a comfortable carrier is important for your cat's comfort and safety during the trip. Choose a carrier that is spacious enough for your cat to stand up and turn around in, and that has good ventilation and secure locks. Schedule the appointment at a quiet time. Scheduling the appointment at a quiet time can help reduce stress for your cat. Avoid scheduling appointments during busy times, and consider scheduling the appointment during a quieter time of day. Use pheromone sprays or wipes. Using pheromone sprays or wipes can help reduce stress and anxiety for your cat. 
these products mimic the natural calming pheromones produced by cats and can help your cat feel more relaxed during the trip to the veterinarian. Cover the carrier with a blanket. Covering the carrier with a blanket can help your cat feel more secure and comfortable during the trip. This can also help reduce visual stimulation and stress for your cat. Bring your cat's favorite toys or treats. Bringing your cat's favorite toys or treats can help provide comfort and distraction during the trip to the veterinarian. This can also help create positive associations with the experience for your cat. Choose a veterinarian who specializes in cats. Choosing a veterinarian who specializes in cats can help ensure that your cat receives the best possible care. Look for a veterinarian who is experienced in working with cats and who has a calm and gentle manner. Bring a copy of your cat's medical history. Bringing a copy of your cat's medical history can help the veterinarian make informed decisions about your cat's care. This can also help ensure that your cat receives appropriate vaccinations and preventative care. Keep your cat calm and relaxed. Keeping your cat calm and relaxed during the trip to the veterinarian is important for their well-being. Speak in a calm and soothing voice, and avoid sudden movements or loud noises that could startle your cat. Reward your cat after the appointment. Rewarding your cat after the appointment can help create positive associations with the experience. Consider giving your cat a special treat or toy, or spending some extra time cuddling and playing with your furry friend. Consider a pre-appointment checkup. If your cat is particularly anxious or has a history of stress during vet visits, consider a pre-appointment checkup. This can help address any underlying health issues that may be causing stress, and can also provide recommendations for reducing stress during future visits. Practice handling your cat. Practicing handling your cat can help prepare them for the physical exam at the veterinarian's office. Gently touch your cat's paws, ears, and mouth, and reward them with treats and positive reinforcement to create positive associations. Use a calming collar. Using a calming collar can help reduce stress and anxiety for your cat during the trip to the veterinarian. These collars emit pheromones that mimic the natural calming pheromones produced by cats and can help your cat feel more relaxed. Be prepared for emergencies. Being prepared for emergencies is important when taking your cat to the veterinarian. Bring a first aid kit and any necessary medications, and have a plan in place for emergency situations. Allow time for recovery. Allowing time for recovery is important after your cat's veterinary appointment. Provide a comfortable and quiet space for your cat to rest, and monitor them for any signs of discomfort or distress. Consider sedation. If your cat is extremely anxious or aggressive during vet visits, sedation may be necessary. Talk to your veterinarian about the options for sedation, and make sure to follow their instructions carefully. Be patient and understanding. Being patient and understanding is important when taking your cat to the veterinarian. Understand that your cat may be stressed or anxious, and be prepared to offer comfort and support as needed. Follow up with recommended care. Following up with recommended care is important for your cat's health and well-being. Make sure to schedule any necessary follow-up appointments, and follow your veterinarian's recommendations for preventative care and treatment. Stay up to date on vaccinations. Staying up to date on vaccinations is important for your cat's health and well being. Make sure to schedule regular vaccinations and keep your cat's medical records up to date. Make vet visits a positive experience. Making vet visits a positive experience is important for your cat's well being and your own peace of mind. 
Use positive reinforcement, treats, and toys to create positive associations with the experience, and make sure to schedule regular checkups and medical care for your furry friend. Choose a veterinarian who uses fear-free techniques. Choosing a veterinarian who uses fear-free techniques can help reduce stress and anxiety for your cat during the visit. Fear-free techniques involve creating a calm and comfortable environment, using gentle handling techniques, and providing positive reinforcement to help reduce stress and anxiety. Stay calm and relaxed. Staying calm and relaxed during the visit is important for your cat's well-being. Speak in a soothing voice and avoid sudden movements or loud noises that could startle your cat. Bring a familiar item. Bringing a familiar item, such as a blanket or toy, can help your cat feel more comfortable and secure during the visit. This can also help reduce stress and anxiety for your furry friend. Consider a mobile veterinarian. If your cat is particularly anxious or has difficulty traveling, consider a mobile veterinarian. Mobile veterinarians can provide medical care in the comfort of your own home, reducing stress and anxiety for your cat. Use a carrier that can open from the top. Using a carrier that can open from the top can help reduce stress and anxiety for your cat during the visit. This allows the veterinarian to perform the exam without having to pull your cat out of the carrier, reducing stress and anxiety for your furry friend. Provide a calming environment. Providing a calming environment is important for reducing stress and anxiety for your cat during the visit. This includes creating a quiet and peaceful environment, with minimal visual or auditory stimulation. Consider a pre-visit sedative. If your cat is particularly anxious or has a history of stress during vet visits, consider a pre-visit sedative. Talk to your veterinarian about the options for sedation, and make sure to follow their instructions carefully. Allow your cat to explore the exam room. Allowing your cat to explore the exam room can help reduce stress and anxiety during the visit. This allows your cat to become familiar with the environment and feel more comfortable during the exam. Bring a friend or family member. Bringing a friend or family member can provide emotional support for both you and your cat during the visit. Experience in choosing and using suitable toys for cats. Cats are playful creatures that enjoy exploring their environment and engaging in activities that stimulate their minds and bodies. As a cat owner, it is important to provide your furry friend with appropriate toys and playtime to promote their physical and mental health. In this article, we will provide you with tips on how to choose and use toys that are appropriate and enjoyable for your cat. Understand your cat's preferences. Understanding your cat's preferences is important when choosing toys. Some cats prefer toys that they can chase and pounce on, while others prefer toys that they can bat around and play with on their own. Observe your cat's behavior and preferences to help guide your toy selection. Choose toys that are safe. Choosing toys that are safe is important for your cat's well-being. Avoid toys with small parts that can be swallowed or toys with sharp edges that could cause injury. Stick to toys made specifically for cats and always supervise your cat during playtime. Provide a variety of toys. Providing a variety of toys can help keep your cat engaged and stimulated. Offer toys with different textures, shapes, and sizes to provide a range of play experiences for your furry friend. Rotate toys regularly. Rotating toys regularly can help keep your cat interested and prevent boredom. Put some toys away for a few weeks and then bring them back out to offer a fresh play experience. 
Use interactive toys. Using interactive toys can help promote bonding between you and your cat, as well as provide a fun and stimulating play experience. Toys such as wand toys, puzzle toys, and treat dispensing toys can help keep your cat engaged and entertained. Offer scratching posts. Offering scratching posts is important for your cat's physical and mental health. Scratching posts provide an outlet for your cat's natural scratching behavior, as well as help maintain healthy nails and relieve stress. Consider your cat's age and activity level. Consider your cat's age and activity level when choosing toys. Kittens and younger cats may have more energy and require more interactive toys, while older cats may prefer more low-key play experiences. Avoid toys with strings or small objects. Avoid toys with strings or small objects that can be easily swallowed, as these can pose a choking hazard to your cat. Stick to toys with larger, solid pieces that are less likely to break off and be ingested. Supervise playtime. Supervising playtime is important for your cat's safety and well-being. Keep an eye on your cat during playtime, and intervene if you notice any signs of distress or danger. Offer playtime on a regular basis. Offering playtime on a regular basis is important for your cat's physical and mental health. Set aside time each day for playtime and make sure to provide a variety of toys and play experiences to keep your cat engaged and stimulated. Encourage natural hunting behaviors. Encouraging natural hunting behaviors is important for your cat's mental and physical health. Toys that mimic prey, such as mice or birds, can help satisfy your cat's natural instincts and provide a fun and stimulating play experience. Use toys to reduce stress. Using toys to reduce stress is important for cats that are anxious or have behavioral issues. Toys that provide a calming effect, such as puzzle toys or slow feeders, can help reduce stress and anxiety and promote relaxation. Consider your living space. Consider your living space when choosing toys for your cat. If you have a small apartment, toys that require a lot of space may not be appropriate. Look for toys that can be easily stored and don't take up too much room. Provide toys for solo play. Providing toys for solo play is important for cats that spend a lot of time alone. Toys such as balls, soft toys or catnip toys can provide entertainment and stimulation while you're away. Offer toys for dental health. Offering toys for dental health is important for your cat's overall health. Toys that promote chewing or dental hygiene, such as dental chews or dental sticks, can help maintain healthy teeth and gums. Monitor wear and tear. Monitoring wear and tear on your cat's toys is important for their safety. Discard any toys that are showing signs of excessive wear, such as loose threads or stuffing, to prevent choking or other hazards. Avoid noisy toys. Avoiding noisy toys is important for your cat's comfort, as loud or sudden noises can startle or scare them. Stick to toys that are relatively quiet, such as soft toys or puzzle toys. Use toys to promote exercise. Using toys to promote exercise is important for your cat's physical health. Toys that encourage running, jumping, or climbing, such as laser pointers or cat trees, can help keep your cat active and healthy. Consider your cat's personality. Consider your cat's personality when choosing toys. Some cats may prefer more interactive play experiences, while others may prefer to play on their own. Observe your cat's behavior and preferences to help guide your toy selection. 
Make playtime a bonding experience. Making playtime a bonding experience is important for strengthening your relationship with your cat. Use playtime as an opportunity to interact with your cat, provide affection, and show them love and attention. Explore different textures. Exploring different textures is important for your cat's sensory stimulation. Toys with varied textures, such as soft toys, crinkly toys, or toys with different surfaces, can provide a range of tactile experiences for your furry friend. Choose toys based on your cat's breed. Choosing toys based on your cat's breed can help ensure that the toys are appropriate and enjoyable for your furry friend. For example, Siamese cats may enjoy toys that are interactive and mentally stimulating, while Persian cats may prefer softer, more plush toys. Make use of empty cardboard boxes. Making use of empty cardboard boxes can provide a fun and stimulating play experience for your cat. Boxes can be used for hiding, climbing, and scratching, providing a range of play opportunities for your furry friend. Incorporate music into playtime. Incorporating music into playtime can help create a calming and enjoyable environment for your cat. Play soft, calming music during playtime to help reduce stress and anxiety and promote relaxation. Offer toys based on your cat's age. Offering toys based on your cat's age is important for their safety and enjoyment. Kittens may prefer toys that are smaller and easier to manipulate, while older cats may prefer toys that are more low-key and less physically demanding. Provide toys for mental stimulation. Providing toys for mental stimulation is important for your cat's cognitive development. Toys that require problem-solving, such as puzzle toys or treat-dispensing toys, can provide a fun and mentally stimulating play experience for your furry friend. Consider your cat's mobility. Consider your cat's mobility when choosing toys. How to take care and raise pit bull dogs. Pit bulls are a loyal and affectionate breed of dog that require proper care and attention to maintain their health and happiness. In this article, we will provide you with tips on how to care for and nurture your pit bull. Provide proper nutrition. Providing proper nutrition is important for your pit bull's overall health and well-being. Choose a high-quality dog food that is appropriate for your dog's age, size, and activity level. Avoid table scraps and human food, as these can cause digestive issues and lead to obesity. Offer plenty of exercise. Offering plenty of exercise is important for your pit bull's physical and mental health. Pit bulls are an active breed that require daily exercise to prevent boredom and promote healthy behaviors. Take your dog for daily walks, play games such as fetch or tug of war, or consider participating in activities such as agility training or hiking. Socialize your dog. Socializing your pit bull is important for their emotional well-being and behavior. Introduce your dog to a variety of people, animals, and environments to help them feel comfortable and confident in different situations. Train your dog. Training your pit bull is important for their safety and behavior. Teach your dog basic obedience commands, such as sit, Stay and come and use positive reinforcement techniques to encourage good behavior. Groom your dog regularly. Grooming your pit bull regularly is important for their hygiene and appearance. Brush your dog's coat to remove loose fur and prevent matting, bathe them as needed, and trim their nails regularly to prevent overgrowth. Provide appropriate toys. Providing appropriate toys is important for your pit bull's mental stimulation and behavior. Look for toys that are sturdy, durable, and appropriate for your dog's size and activity level. 
Avoid toys with small parts that can be easily swallowed or toys that can be easily destroyed and pose a choking hazard. Keep up with veterinary care. Keeping up with veterinary care is important for your pit bull's health and well-being. Schedule regular checkups and vaccinations with your veterinarian and seek medical attention if you notice any signs of illness or injury. Provide a comfortable living environment. Providing a comfortable living environment is important for your pit bull's comfort and happiness. Provide a warm and dry shelter, such as a dog house or indoor crate and ensure that your dog has access to fresh water and a comfortable bed. Monitor your dog's behavior. Monitoring your pit bull's behavior is important for their safety and well-being. Watch for signs of aggression or anxiety and intervene if necessary to prevent any negative behaviors. Show your dog love and affection. Showing your pit bull love and affection is important for their emotional well-being. Spend time with your dog, provide affection and attention, and offer plenty of positive reinforcement to help strengthen your bond. Use positive reinforcement training. Using positive reinforcement training is important for your pit bull's mental and emotional well-being. Reward good behavior with praise, treats, or toys, and avoid punishment or harsh training methods. Consider crate training. Consider crate training your pit bull to help with house training and provide a safe and comfortable space for your dog. Introduce the crate gradually and use positive reinforcement to encourage your dog to use it. Keep your dog on a leash. Keeping your pit bull on a leash is important for their safety and the safety of others. Use a sturdy leash and collar and supervise your dog during walks and outdoor activities. Provide mental stimulation. Providing mental stimulation is important for your pit bull's happiness and well-being. Offer puzzle toys, interactive toys, or training games to keep your dog engaged and mentally stimulated. Watch for breed-specific health issues. Watch for breed-specific health issues that may affect your pit bull, such as hip dysplasia or allergies. Schedule regular checkups with your veterinarian to monitor your dog's health and address any health issues that arise. Consider spaying or neutering. Consider spaying or neutering your pit bull to prevent unwanted breeding and reduce the risk of certain health issues. Talk to your veterinarian about the best age to spay or neuter your dog. Provide appropriate chew toys. Providing appropriate chew toys is important for your pit bull's dental health and behavior. Look for sturdy toys that are designed for aggressive chewers and avoid toys that can be easily destroyed or pose a choking hazard. Use flea and tick prevention. Using flea and tick prevention is important for your pit bull's health and comfort. Talk to your veterinarian about the best flea and tick prevention products for your dog, and use them regularly to prevent infestations and protect your dog from disease. Offer plenty of water. Offering plenty of water is important for your pit bull's hydration and overall health. Make sure your dog has access to fresh, clean water at all times and monitor their water intake to ensure they are drinking enough. Be a responsible pit bull owner. Being a responsible pit bull owner is important for your dog's well-being and the reputation of the breed. Follow local laws and regulations, keep your dog under control at all times, and be a positive ambassador for the breed. Supervise interactions with children. Supervising interactions between your pit bull and children is important for everyone's safety. Teach children how to properly interact with dogs and always monitor their interactions to prevent any rough play or accidents. Provide a balanced diet. Providing a balanced diet is important for your pit bull's health and well-being. Include a variety of proteins, carbohydrates, and healthy fats in their diet, and consult with your veterinarian if you have any concerns about your dog's nutrition. Keep your dog's environment clean. 
Keeping your pit bull's environment clean is important for their hygiene and health. Regularly clean their food and water bowls, bedding, and toys to prevent the buildup of bacteria and germs. Train your dog to walk on a leash. Training your pit bull to walk on a leash is important for their safety and behavior. Use positive reinforcement training to teach your dog to walk calmly on a leash and avoid any pulling or jumping. Provide a comfortable and safe transportation. Providing a comfortable and safe transportation is important for your pit bull's safety and comfort. Use a sturdy crate or safety harness when traveling with your dog, and make sure they have enough space to move around and access to water. Consider pet insurance. Consider purchasing pet insurance for your pit bull to help cover the cost of unexpected veterinary care. Look for a policy that covers breed-specific health issues and other common health concerns. Keep up with dental care. Keeping up with dental care is important for your pit bull's overall health. Brush your dog's teeth regularly, provide dental chews or toys, and schedule regular dental cleanings with your veterinarian. Watch for signs of heat stroke. Watching for signs of heat stroke is important for your pit bull's safety during hot weather. Techniques for watering plants in a koi aquarium. Koi ponds are a beautiful addition to any backyard, but they require proper care and maintenance to keep the fish healthy and the pond looking its best. One important aspect of caring for a koi pond is providing adequate watering to the surrounding plants and vegetation. In this article, we will discuss the various techniques for watering plants in a koi pond and provide tips for maintaining a healthy and vibrant ecosystem. Drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is a popular technique for watering plants in a koi pond. This method involves placing a series of small, drip emitters in the soil around the plants. These emitters slowly release water into the soil, providing a consistent source of moisture for the plants. Drip irrigation is a particularly effective method for watering plants that require deep watering, as it allows the water to penetrate deeply into the soil. Soaker hoses Soaker hoses are another effective technique for watering plants in a koi pond. These hoses are designed to release water slowly and evenly over a large area. They are typically placed in a serpentine pattern around the plants, providing a consistent source of moisture. Soaker hoses are particularly effective for watering large areas of vegetation, such as ground cover or shrubs. Sprinklers Sprinklers are a common irrigation method for watering plants in a koi pond. They provide a large, even coverage area and are particularly effective for watering plants that require frequent watering or that are located in areas that receive a lot of direct sunlight. However, sprinklers can also result in water loss due to evaporation, so it is important to monitor the watering schedule and adjust as necessary. Hand watering Hand watering is a simple and effective method for watering individual plants in a koi pond. This method involves using a watering can or hose to apply water directly to the soil around the plants. Hand watering allows for a more targeted approach to watering, which is particularly useful for plants that require less frequent watering or that are located in areas that receive less direct sunlight. Misting systems Misting systems are a unique irrigation method that can be used to water plants in a koi pond. These systems release a fine mist of water into the air which then settles on the plants and provides a consistent source of moisture. 
Misting systems are particularly effective for watering plants that require high levels of humidity or that are located in areas that receive a lot of direct sunlight. Tips for maintaining a healthy koi pond ecosystem In addition to proper watering techniques, there are several other important factors to consider when maintaining a healthy koi pond ecosystem. These include Maintaining proper water chemistry Proper water chemistry is essential for maintaining a healthy koi pond ecosystem. This includes monitoring pH levels, water hardness and nutrient levels, and making adjustments as necessary. Providing adequate filtration Adequate filtration is important for removing debris and waste from the water, which can contribute to poor water quality and health problems for the fish. Controlling algae growth Algae growth can be a common problem in koi ponds, and can contribute to poor water quality and health problems for the fish. Controlling algae growth through proper filtration, plant selection, and regular maintenance is essential for maintaining a healthy ecosystem. Providing shade and shelter Providing shade and shelter for the fish is important for their health and well-being. This can be achieved through the use of plants, shade structures, or other means. Regular maintenance Regular maintenance, including water changes, cleaning of filters and pumps, and pruning of plants, is essential for maintaining a healthy koi pond ecosystem. Watering schedule Establishing a regular watering schedule is important for maintaining healthy plants in a koi pond. The frequency of watering will depend on various factors such as the type of plants, humidity levels, and the season. In general, it is best to water plants deeply and less frequently rather than shallowly and often. This helps encourage deep root growth and reduces the risk of water runoff. Water source The source of water used for watering plants in a koi pond is important. Using tap water may contain high levels of chlorine and other chemicals that can be harmful to fish and plants. It is best to use filtered or well water or allow tap water to sit out for 24 hours before using to allow the chlorine to dissipate. Mulching Mulching around plants in a koi pond can help conserve moisture and reduce the need for frequent watering. Mulch also helps regulate soil temperature and suppresses weed growth. Organic mulch such as wood chips, straw, or leaves is recommended. Plant selection Choosing the right plants for a koi pond is important for maintaining a healthy ecosystem. Plants should be able to tolerate wet conditions and be non-toxic to fish. It is also important to select plants that provide shade and shelter for the fish. Drainage. Proper drainage is important for maintaining healthy plants in a koi pond. Poor drainage can lead to waterlogged soil, which can suffocate plant roots and promote fungal growth. Ensuring that the soil around plants is well draining can help prevent these problems. Fertilization. Fertilizing plants in a koi pond can help promote healthy growth and vibrant colors. However, it is important to use a fertilizer that is safe for fish and does not contain high levels of nitrogen, which can promote algae growth. Slow release, organic fertilizers are recommended. Monitoring Regular monitoring of plants in a koi pond is important for identifying issues early on and taking corrective action. Signs of problems may include yellowing leaves, wilting, or stunted growth. 
Addressing these issues promptly can help prevent further damage and promote healthy growth. Watering Tools Using the right watering tools is important for effective watering of plants in a koi pond. A watering can, hose with a gentle spray nozzle, or a watering wand are all good options. Avoid using high-pressure sprayers as they can damage delicate plants and disturb the soil. Water Conservation Conserving water is important for both environmental and financial reasons. Consider using a rain barrel to collect rainwater for watering plants in a koi pond. This not only conserves water but also provides a source of chlorine-free, pH-neutral water that is beneficial for plants. Types of koi fish food and how to use them Koi fish are a popular and beautiful addition to any pond, but they require proper nutrition to maintain their health and vibrant colors. As omnivores, koi fish require a balanced diet of both plant and animal-based foods. In this article, we will discuss the various types of food available for koi fish and how to use them effectively to promote optimal health and growth. Pellets Pellets are a common and convenient option for feeding koi fish. They are available in various sizes and formulas, such as high-protein, color-enhancing, and sinking pellets. Pellets are a balanced and complete diet that contains all the essential nutrients required for koi fish to maintain optimal health and growth. They are easy to feed and can be used as the primary source of food for koi fish. Flakes Flakes are another popular option for feeding koi fish. They are available in various formulas, such as high protein and color enhancing, and are a convenient option for feeding small or juvenile koi fish. Flakes are lightweight and float on the surface of the water, making them easy for koi fish to feed on. Frozen foods Frozen foods, such as bloodworms, brine shrimp, and krill, are a popular option for feeding koi fish. These foods are high in protein and provide essential nutrients that promote growth and vitality. Frozen foods can be thawed and fed to koi fish as a supplement to their regular diet. Live foods Live foods, such as earthworms, mealworms, and crickets, are a natural and nutritious option for feeding koi fish. Live foods provide a variety of essential nutrients and promote the natural feeding behavior of koi fish. They can be fed as a supplement to koi fish's regular diet or as a treat. Vegetables Vegetables, such as lettuce, spinach, and peas, are a healthy and natural option for feeding koi fish. Vegetables provide essential nutrients and fiber that promote digestion and overall health. Vegetables can be fed raw or blanched and should be cut into small pieces to make them easier for koi fish to eat. Tips for using koi fish food effectively In addition to choosing the right type of food, there are several other factors to consider when feeding koi fish to ensure optimal health and growth. These include Feeding schedule Establishing a regular feeding schedule is important for maintaining healthy koi fish. Feed koi fish two to three times per day only feeding what they can consume in 5 minutes or less. Overfeeding can lead to poor water quality and health problems for the fish. Feeding Location 
Feeding koi fish in the same location each time can help prevent uneaten food from sinking to the bottom of the pond and causing water quality issues. Consider using a feeding ring or designated feeding area to help contain the food and prevent it from spreading throughout the pond. Water temperature Water temperature can affect the feeding behavior of koi fish. As water temperature increases, koi fish become more active and require more food. Conversely, as water temperature decreases, koi fish become less active and require less food. Adjust feeding amounts accordingly based on water temperature. Monitoring Regular monitoring of koi fish behavior and health is important for identifying issues early on and taking corrective action. Signs of problems may include lethargy, loss of appetite, or abnormal behavior. Addressing these issues promptly can help prevent further damage and promote healthy growth. Food storage Proper storage of koi fish food is important for maintaining its freshness and nutritional value. Store food in a cool, dry place and use within the expiration date. Avoid exposing the food to moisture or direct sunlight, as this can cause it to spoil or lose its nutritional value. Feeding quantity Feeding the correct amount of food is important for maintaining healthy koi fish. Overfeeding can lead to poor water quality and health problems, while underfeeding can result in malnutrition and stunted growth. As a general rule, feed koi fish 1-2% to of their body weight per day, divided into 2 or 3 feedings. Feeding time Feeding koi fish at the same time each day can help establish a routine and promote healthy feeding behavior. Feeding koi fish in the morning and evening when water temperatures are cooler is recommended. Feeding behavior Observing koi fish feeding behavior is important for identifying potential health issues or social dynamics. Koi fish that are not eating or show abnormal feeding behavior may be sick or stressed. Feeding Strategy Using a feeding strategy can help promote healthy feeding behavior and prevent overfeeding. For example, using a feeding ring or feeding in a specific location can help contain the food and prevent it from spreading throughout the pond. Feeding Frequency Feeding frequency is important for maintaining healthy koi fish. Feeding koi fish multiple times per day can help promote healthy growth and prevent overfeeding. However, feeding koi fish too frequently can lead to poor water quality and health problems. Seasonal feeding Adjusting feeding amounts and frequency based on the season is important for maintaining healthy koi fish. Koi fish require less food during the winter months when water temperatures are cooler and their metabolism slows down. Feeding quality Choosing high-quality food is important for maintaining healthy koi fish. Look for food that is high in protein and contains essential nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Avoid food that contains fillers or low-quality ingredients. Feeding techniques Feeding techniques are important for maintaining healthy koi fish and preventing overfeeding. One technique is to toss small amounts of food into the pond at a time allowing koi fish to eat it before adding more. Another technique is to use a feeding station or feeding ring to contain the food, preventing it from spreading throughout the pond and causing water quality issues. Feeding duration Feeding duration is an important factor in preventing overfeeding and maintaining healthy koi fish. 
Koi fish should be fed for no longer than 5 minutes at a time, and any uneaten food should be removed from the pond to prevent it from decomposing and causing water quality issues. Feeding Frequency for Young Koi Young koi require more frequent feedings than adult koi to promote healthy growth.